So next up, life on land, STG 15. So the underlying principle on this particular STG are to protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainably manage forests, combat desertification, and halt and reverse land degradation and halt biodiversity loss. So basically, look after all the land that is available as best we can. 10 million hectares of forest are destroyed every year. 10 million. And almost 90% of global deforestation is due to agricultural expansion. So these are statistics that uh, are quite frightening. Um, but as we'll see, when we're looking at things that we can do to uh, combat some of this, these obviously will influence, I suppose, our purchasing habits and our buying power will be important in trying to sort of change some of these trends. 133 parties have ratified the Nagoya Protocol, which addresses access to genetic resources and their fair and equitable use. We will look at the Nagoya Protocol and its implications in more detail later on. Biodiversity is largely neglected in COVID-19 recovery spending. Uh, I think probably most people are probably aware of the fact that uh, the focus over the last couple of years has primarily been on uh, recovering from COVID-19 and it has had a really negative impact on biodiversity, uh, a negative impact on the spending on biodiversity. This is another really shocking figure. Around 40,000 species, now that's 40,000 species are documented to be at risk of extinction over the coming decades. 40,000. Nearly half of freshwater, terrestrial and mountain key biodiversity areas are protected and need to be protected. So for life on land, there are 12 targets. Target 15.1. By 2020, which is already gone, ensure the conservation, restoration and sustainable use of terrestrial and inland freshwater ecosystems and their services, particularly forests, wetlands, mountains and drylands in line with obligations under international agreements. So in your own experience, uh, would, you, would, you, would you think that that target has been met? I'm sure you can find lots of places to look up some statistics or interesting statistics on that. Our global e ecosystems, which we rely on, are, are all interconnected. Terrestrial ecosystems have very close connections with inland freshwater ecosystems in both, in terms of both flora and fauna. So the indicator for this particular target, forest area as a proportion of total land and proportion of important sites for terrestrial and freshwater biodiversity that are covered by protected areas by ecosystem type. Target 15.2. By 2020, promote the implementation of sustainable management of all types of forests, halt deforestation, restore degraded forests, and substantially increase afforestation and reforestation globally. Clearly a very um, strong call there to implement and maintain our uh, forestry. Uh, I'm sure you've all seen images of endangered animals fleeing their habitats as it's pulled down around them. Despite this goal, it is estimated that 430 square kilometres of the Amazon was cleared in the first two months of 2022. That's more than twice the average over the past 10 years. So these issues are still very much live and protecting forestry and forestry uh, resources is so important. The indicator for this is progress towards sustainable forestry management. Target 15.3 by 2030 combat desertification, that's creation of deserts from regular land, restored degraded land and soil, including land affected by desertification, droughts and flood, and strive to achieve a land degradation neutral world. Again, obviously trying to manage the natural terrestrial resources and try and achieve a land uh, degradation neutral world, a, a world where we don't have uh, land degradation as a result of uh, climate issues or any other uh, unsustainable activities. Basically, this goal looks at an approach that counterbalances the expected loss of productive land with the recovery of degraded areas. And the indicator for this is the proportion of land that is degraded over the total land area. So that's a relatively straightforward one to monitor. Target 15.4, by 2030, ensure the conservation of mountain ecosystems, including their biodiversity, to enhance their capacity to provide benefits that are essential for sustainable development. So this one is focused on mountain ecosystems. Globally, 
Mountains and their biodiversity provide food and medicine, as well as climate, water, soil and air quality regulation to humankind. Across the world, mountain ecosystems are under pressure from land use change and climate change, over-exploitation, invasive species and pollution. This target addresses this. Uh, we have two indications for this particular target. Coverage by protected area of important sites for mountain biodiversity and the Mountain Green Cover Index. Again, we will be going through more detail of those in the actual uh, SCG module. Target 15.5. Take urgent and significant action to reduce the degradation of natural habitats, halt the loss of biodiversity, and by 2020, protect and prevent the extinction of threatened species. Again, I would ask you if you have time to go and uh, maybe have a look on the internet, do a bit of a, a search to find out how we're doing on that particular target uh, by 2020, i.e. two years ago. The IUCN uh, Red List has evaluated 40,084 species across all taxonomic groups to be threatened with extinction in 2021. And the indicator for this particular target is the Red List Index. So I would suggest that you go and have a look at that uh, now and you can uh, familiarize yourself with that. We will be, of course, looking at it in more detail later on. Target 15.6, promote fair and equitable sharing of the benefits arising from the utilization of genetic resources and promote appropriate access to such resources as internationally agreed. Throughout the goals and their targets, we see a need to share internationally build capacity and work together with research. The indicator for this uh, are the number of countries that have adopted legislative, administrative and policy frameworks to ensure fair and equitable sharing of benefits. So that's how we're going to gauge how we're moving forward on that particular target. Target 15.7, take urgent action to end poaching and trafficking of protected species of flora and fauna and address both the demand and supply of illegal wildlife products. I think we're all familiar with the, the stories and the pictures that we have seen from from wildlife parks in, in Africa where we see ivory being illegally taken or we see lions and other exotic creatures being slaughtered purely for uh, profiteering. Good news is that the World Wildlife Crime Reports since 2016, trafficking of wild flora and fauna has grown in importance in the public consciousness and has risen on the political agenda, but there is still a lot more work to do. The indicator for this particular target is the proportion of traded wildlife that was poached or illicitly trafficked. Target 15.8. By 2020, introduce measures to prevent the introduction and significantly reduce the impact of invasive alien species on land and water ecosystems and control or eradicate the priority species. Invasive alien species are animals and plants that are introduced accidentally or deliberately into a natural environment and cause a serious threat to native plants and animals. One example in Ireland, which you are likely to have heard of, rhododendron, causing a huge threat to oak woodlands in particular. Other examples would be giant hogweed or uh, Japanese knotweed. So the indicator for this target, the proportion of countries adopting relevant national legislation and adequately resourcing the prevention or control of invasive alien species. Target 15.9. By 2020, integrate ecosystem and biodiversity values into national and local planning, development processes, poverty reduction strategies and accounts. Now this is a potentially a very powerful target. The indicator that they're suggesting for this is the number of countries that have established uh, national targets in accordance with similar uh, biodiversity targets. I think it's fair to say that in Ireland, in the planning law, that there have been significant uh, developments in relation to integrating environmental impact assessment in the planning laws. And I think we are uh, taking a very responsible approach to that. It's not perfect, but we're moving forward. Target 15A, mobilize and significantly increase financial resources from all sources to conserve and sustainably use biodiversity and ecosystems. Where does all the finance come from, you might wonder? This is a challenge, but from the previous blocks and further ones in the course, you may be becoming aware that all the goals are linked to a societal shift, including an economic shift. We all need, and I've mentioned this earlier on, we all need to consider the sustainable development goals and what they're trying to achieve. And, and the best way we can do that is by um, 
moderating and changing our buying patterns and our buying habits. We can vote with our with our pockets, and if enough people do that, the the right uh, materials will will be purchased and will be po- will be popular, and it will it will change. Uh, I do believe that. Uh, changing our buying habits will have a very significant impact and is one of the ways we'll be able to make sure that we change the future to the way that we want. Uh, the indicator for this is the official, uh, official development assistance on conservation and sustainable use of biodiversity and revenue generated uh, and finance mobilized from biodiversity relevant economic instruments. So reviewing those. Target 15b. Mobilize significant resources from all sources and at all levels to finance sustainable forest management and provide adequate incentives to developing countries to advance such management, including for conservation and reforestation. Developing countries are, are already facing many challenges here and incentives and supports are absolutely vital. 15C, enhance global support for efforts to combat poaching and trafficking of protected species, including by increasing the capacity of local communities to pursue sustainable livelihood options. It's easy for us to frown upon poachers, but when you ask yourself why is poaching occurring, who is committing these crimes and why? Could they be trying to feed their family or could they be trying to survive? So it's important to to understand the context, but again, we must uh, take all efforts, um, make all possible efforts to try and avoid any poaching or illicit trafficking. The indicator for this, of course, would be monitoring the proportion of traded wildlife that was poached or illicitly illicitly trafficked. So there we have it, 12 targets for life on land, uh, all very important, uh, and all of us can relate to them in some way. So that now concludes the uh, five SDGs that relate to the planet. We will be looking at each of the SDGs individually in their own uh, unit later on.